Well, it's going to be 104 degrees today, so I am rolling out some slabs that I can do some hand building and some uh, clay work inside my house. I don't have any air conditioning out here, and my fan's just not going to cut 104. Um, I rolled some slabs. I um, have my rolling cart, which I'm I'm actually going to roll to my front door with all my tools on it. I'm not bringing every single tool I have into the house. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm working on. And here's a slab right here. I'm going to let it get a little more firm. And uh, yeah, just going to stack them up and take them in the house. Okay, here's all the tools that I think I'm going to need. I got my sponges, my bowls, any texturing I want. Um, oh, wait, hold on. That's what it is, texturing and my wooden tools and I'm good to go. Welcome back, and yes, the announcement of the day is this is my last Harry Potter weekly video that I'm going to have in that series. Um, okay, the reason I came to this decision was uh, I've been working on the 365 Day Cup uh, project and putting it into a book form. It's almost been five years since I did that project, and when I went back to watch the videos, I realized how huge my why was. Why I was making those videos was huge. I wanted to know how to throw on the wheel. I wanted someone to critique me. I wanted somebody to slap me in the face and say, you know what, if you did this, you would do it better. And I wanted to learn how to throw on the wheel a lot. That was my motivation. And then as time went on, everyone's input and um, instruction and encouragement got me over the humps. I remember it was, I even remember it was March. It was March, I think, or March 6th. I say that, beginning of March. Um, I was very ill when I was doing that project. I went in the hospital. I remember laying in the hospital with the IV and going, oh, make me feel better as soon as you can because I have to get back there. I, I need to throw before midnight because sometimes I'd throw at 11.45. I'd throw that cup for that day so I'd stay accountable. And in that time, it also taught me that sometimes your goals, goals go astray. As long as you get back on track, you can head to the goal. And December 31st, I made it. I finished it. I did everything I said I was going to do, and it was a wonderful accomplishment. That being said, Hobby Potter Weekly, I, my goal got mushy. It got to where I'd sit in the house and I'd go, oh, I gotta think of something to do for that weekly video instead of what do I wanna learn and know about my clay? So I need to take a couple weeks off to regroup and reconnect with my clay and also the fact that I know I need a beginning and an end. I need a series. When I was doing the 30, 30 techniques and I was doing the bowls, I was like, this is great. The 365 day, it has a beginning and it has an end and it has a why. Um, I'm gonna take a couple a couple weeks to really find out what it is I wanna do with the videos. And the other part is, I don't really know why everybody watches the videos. I just kinda make my documentary go along the way. I wanna get re-energized for my clay. I have deeper thoughts than I share, which is something that I kinda wanna put in there too as my own retrospect to be able to look back and go, 
what was my what was I feeling at that time? I, I, if, if you could help me, I haven't asked for advice in a long time, but I'm asking for your input in this last video. If anybody could post what it is they like about watching my videos, what they want me to see me do, what they want to see me not do, if I would just be quiet and not talk, you know, that kind of thing, I would appreciate it. Critique that is helpful is good. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy the hodgepodge and mishmash. I enjoyed my clay this week, but you can't see it on video because my camera shut down. Anyway, in the future, I hope to share with you some new series that facilitates my split personality of my need and desire to be on my favorite thing, a pottery wheel, but also that creative funky dunk side of me that likes to just kind of go and do something crazy in hand building sometimes. So I do have two things that I'm going to accomplish and looking towards when I set my next series goal. And like I said, hope you guys enjoyed today and thank you for watching Hobby Potter Weekly and I will see you in a couple weeks.